All right, let's jump right in, shall we? Today, we are diving deep into the world of the Colombian ground squirrel. Fascinating creatures, aren't they? Absolutely. They might look all cute and cuddly, but... But there's a lot more to them than meets the eye. Exactly. We're going way beyond just those typical squirrel antics, you know, the burying nuts and all that. Right. We're going to unearth the secrets of their incredible underground engineering projects. Their burrows are more than just simple holes in the ground. Oh, yeah. We're talking elaborate tunnels, chambers, and get this. Earth plugs. Earth plugs. So for this deep dive... We're going to need our hard hats. We've got a mountain of research and observations all thanks to those dedicated scientists who've spent countless hours observing these squirrels. They've really gone above and beyond to understand these creatures. And our mission today. To uncover the hows and whys behind their incredible underground architecture. We want to understand just how they construct these intricate homes and what motivates them to go through all that effort. Think of it like this. We're about to get a behind-the-scenes tour of their world. Love it. Okay, first up, picture this. You're watching these squirrels in a big, wide-open yard. Kind of like a squirrel playground. Exactly. And researchers noticed the most peculiar thing. They gather dirt in the funniest ways. They were most comical to watch. I know, right? It's like they turn into these tiny bulldozers using their whole bodies, <laughs> kicking dirt backwards. Yeah, yeah. Even plowing through those mounds of dirt with their little noses. They've got these strong limbs and amazingly dexterous paws. Yeah, perfect for all that excavating. But it makes you wonder, why all the theatrics? Why this elaborate digging? Right, what's the point? To really grasp that, we have to venture below the surface. Into the burrows. Exactly. Oh, and that's where things get seriously fascinating. Observing them out in the open is one thing, but getting a glimpse into their underground world, that's a whole different challenge. It's not easy. There's actually this one story that really showcases how incredibly fast these squirrels can dig when they're in those tight spaces. Researchers were trying to observe a squirrel in its burrow, and you know what this little guy did? What did he do? He went into overdrive, digging like crazy to get away from them. Determined to escape. It's like he was saying, nope, not today. And they're powerful, too. I mean, they can shift mountains of dirt, relatively speaking, of course. I can imagine. And that's when researchers started to realize something quite interesting. Not all the dirt they were digging up was ending up on the surface. Right. There are these telltale signs of filled-in tunnels and chambers inside the burrows. Wait, so they weren't just digging out, they were digging in. Exactly. They're not just reacting to their environment. They're actively shaping it to suit their needs. It's like they're constantly remodeling and renovating their homes. So they're not just diggers. They're builders, too. Absolutely. Now, buckle up, because this is where the real head scratcher comes in. Uh. Researchers stumbled upon these peculiar earth plugs inside the burrows. Earth plugs. Yeah, these strange formations. At first they thought, well, maybe it's just natural erosion. Some dirt falling in, maybe. Or other animals messing around. Seems plausible. But then they discovered something way more intriguing. What did they find? These plugs weren't just random occurrences. They were intentionally crafted by the squirrels. You're kidding. They build walls with their noses. Can you believe that? That's amazing. And they weren't just simple piles of dirt either. They had these unique saucer-like layers. And if you looked closely, you could even see tiny nose prints on them. So they really are like little earthenware plates. I know, right? You really have to see it to believe it. It really makes you reconsider what we think we know about animal intelligence. I mean, it's not just random behavior, is it? There's clear purpose and planning behind these plugs. There has to be a reason. So the big question is, why are they building these plugs? What's so important about them? That's a great question. And that's exactly what we'll be digging into next. I can't wait. Stay tuned, because we are about to uncover some truly remarkable things about these Colombian ground squirrels. It's going to be wild. Welcome back. We're ready to delve deeper into those intriguing earth plugs. Yeah, I'm still trying to wrap my head around those nose print walls. So tell me, what's the deal with those plugs? Why would they go through all that effort to plug up their own tunnels? Well, it turns out these plugs aren't just some random quirk. They actually serve a few very important purposes. Oh, right. One of the biggest is protection. Protection. Yeah. Imagine you're a mother squirrel with a nest full of babies. Ah, okay. Way down in those tunnels. You'd want to keep them as safe as possible, right? Yeah, of course. 
from predators and stuff. Exactly. Plugging the entrance to that brood nest creates a barrier. Oh, like a door. Exactly. It makes it much harder for predators to reach those little ones. Smart. So it's like their version of a security system. Precisely. And the plugs aren't just good for keeping things out. What else do they do? They help with insulation, too. Oh, right. For those hibernation chambers. Especially those. The squirrels actually reconstruct their hibernation chambers. They do. And seal them off with these plugs. To create a nice, cozy winter hideaway. Exactly. A snug, temperature-controlled environment, like building their own little winter bunker. Wow, so they're not just blocking off entrances. They're using these plugs to reshape their living spaces. Exactly. It really shows their level of planning and foresight. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. And get this. Some of these plugs are incredibly durable. Oh, yeah. Researchers have found plugs that were perfectly preserved even years after they were created. That's right. It's incredible. It's like they're little earth and time capsules showing just how effective this technique is. I'm starting to think we should hire these squirrels as architects. No, it's important to remember that not all plugs are created equal. Really? Some are meant to be more permanent, while others are more temporary. Makes sense. Like different plugs for different purposes. Yeah, think of it like this. Some are like sturdy brick walls, and some are like quick sandbag barriers, you know, the kind you see during floods. Oh, I see. So like a quick fix for sudden danger. You got it. Remember how we talked about those squirrels digging frantically to escape the researchers? Yeah, they wanted to get out of there. Well, sometimes they use that same digging power to quickly create a temporary plug. And seal themselves inside for safety. Like a little emergency bunker on the fly. So they can plug the burrow from the inside. That's right. That's mind-blowing. Can you imagine trying to do that with your nose? And remember that squirrel we talked about before? The one that plugged its burrow from the inside and then went back and added more reinforcement from the outside? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like they're double-checking their work. Wow. Talk about going the extra mile. Mm -hmm. These squirrels aren't just diggers. They're master planners, architects, engineers. All rolled into one. It's like they have an entire construction crew living inside their little heads. It really is a perfect example of how even creatures we might think of as simple can be incredibly complex. Right. They're not just reacting to the world around them. They're actively shaving it. And that's something we'll explore further when we come back. Okay, I'm ready for more. Welcome back to the Deep Dive. We've been on quite a journey with these Colombian ground squirrels. We have, haven't we? From digging to those earth plugs. They really are incredible little creatures. They are. I mean, they're like those ultimate tiny house enthusiasts, right? Mm. Building and renovating and fortifying their homes. All year round. It's more than just impressive construction, though, isn't it? It really is. What does all this tell us about these squirrels? Like, in the grand scheme of things. It challenges our whole perception of animal intelligence. Oh, yeah. How so? We tend to think of intelligence as this uniquely human trait, but yeah. the Colombian ground squirrel shows us that even creatures we might see as simple, right. they can be incredibly good at solving problems and adapting to their environment. I mean, they're not just reacting to the world around them, are they? Nope. They're shaping it. Exactly. It's like they've got this blueprint in their minds for how to build the perfect burrow. And that blueprint is a result of thousands of years of evolution. Wow. The squirrel's success is directly tied to their ability to engineer their environment. It makes sense when you put it like that. To create that safe and sustainable habitat. So it's not just about individual squirrels being smart. Right. It's about a whole species succeeding because of these incredible instincts. Precisely. And then think about it. Their impact goes beyond just those burrows. It does, doesn't it? Their burrows, they aerate the soil. Mm -hmm. They spread seeds when they're foraging. Yeah. They even become food for other animals. They're like these little ecosystem engineers yeah. playing a crucial role in keeping that balance of nature. Wow. So if we had to sum up what we've learned from these master builders. What would it be? What's the big takeaway for our listeners today? I think it's a reminder that there's so much wonder and complexity in nature, even in the creatures we see every single day. Yeah. They teach us so much about adaptation and resilience and how everything's connected. Yeah. I think it's also a good reminder to never underestimate the power of just observing. And being curious. Exactly. You never know what incredible things you might find, even just in your own backyard. Well said. He's cruel. That's it for our deep dive today, folks. Thanks for joining us as we explored the amazing subterranean world of the Colombian ground squirrel. Thanks for listening. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and remember there's a whole universe of wonder waiting to be discovered just beneath our feet. <laughs>